One eye rose. I feel like there should always be like a stat chart made, man. Shout out to Legend Productions, man. Legend, we're buying that, bro. I need mine. Got to that top of the key. It's gonna be green. What's good, YouTube? Today I'm back to the video on C Day. I got a very special video for you guys. After getting countless of comments to make this video, I decided to finally make it and determine how good Cash Nasty has been in 2022. I'm going to go all over his stats, percentages, record, and even a shot chart at the end to see if he's any better than Flight. That's where like Woda. That's what like Woda. It's top of the key. Anyways, before this video starts, I have to give a huge thank you to all of you for 25,000 subscribers. That's an insane milestone to hit honestly, and I'm really thankful to be in the position that I am today. Also, shout out to Flight and Cash for all these opportunities, as even though these videos do take about 5 hours each day, I still enjoy making the content. Anyways, with all this out of the way, let's get into this Cash Nasty analysis. First, let's talk about Cash's overall game this year. In the offensive end, he was actually very impressive to say the least. To start, his handles have improved tremendously from last year. Instead of dribbling way too high and doing very predictable moves, Cash is finally going lower on his dribbles and has gotten way quicker as a result. With that in mind, he's starting to slowly adapt a different type of dribbling package each game, which include the hesitation move, the under drag, and the in and out to jumper. Do really have to give a shout out to B. Ellis for this because ever since Cash started training with him, he's been a different player on the court. Not only that, but his footwork has also gotten better. When he receives the ball at the top of the key, Cash is not like any other player. Instead of being all fancy, Cash instead takes it slow and uses a variety of justice and read throughs to see how the defense responds. Depending on their reaction, Cash either takes that top of the key three pointer or go straight into the basket. That's really high basketball IQ if you ask me, and that's why Cash has gotten so many wins this year. However, Cash does need to improve his footwork when he goes into pain. At times, he can go way too fast to the basket and start moving his pivot foot, which results in a travel. However, you still cannot take away how dominant Cash has been in the pain. Regardless of the traveling issue, Cash still takes advantage of his big frame and bulldozes his way to the paint. I actually calculated his field goal percentage when he shoots around the painted area and it's really impressive. Here, Cash shoots about 50% from the field when he does layouts or post moves, which is really good if you ask me. The only thing that he needs to watch out as well as the traveling is his elbow at times as he could accidentally use it to an advantage that results in an offensive foul. However, I'm sure that he will improve that as he does have a top trainer right now helping him. Now moving on to Cash Nasty's jump shot and he's sadly being very inconsistent. Obviously we all know that Cash prioritizes weight room over basketball and that he's just a hooper and not a hooper hooper but he still needs to find a consistent flow on his shot. For example there's times where Cash has a perfect flick and a great rotation on the ball. Yeah. What? Like? What up? But there's other times where he pushes the ball and has no arc on his shot. This could happen because of lack of practice since you know, he's just a hooper, but Cash needs to find a consistent basis from the top of the key. For example, in the first game that he ever played against Ken Wilder, he shot 1 of 11 from the top of the key. Even though you can't say that he had a lot of space to shoot, Cash still committed the same mistake every time he shot. His chicken wing, which is his shooting elbow, was way too wide, which resulted in his shot going to the side a lot. If Cash can improve that, I guarantee that his 3 point percentage will go up. Now with all this being said, let's talk about Cash Nasty's defense real quick. Here, he excels a lot because of his passionate mindset. Not too many people care about defense nowadays, but Cash thinks otherwise and uses this as a way to get in his defender's head. For example, let's talk about the Ken Wilder game in the House of Highlights tournament again. Even though Cash Nasty's shot was not clicking that much, his defense is what got him over the top. His trash talking ability got Cam shook and his mental game was off ever since this happened. If I'm being honest, Cash is pretty much like a Patrick Beverly type player, a player that you hate playing against but a guy that you would love to have on your team. Yes, I understand that Cash does hack a lot and plays bully ball, but that's just all part of the plan. Getting his opponent's head and try to play mind games against them. Now with all this out of the way, it's time to talk about Cash Nasty's 1v1 hour record and stats from 2022. In 2022, Cash has played a total of 22 1v1 games, which is kinda crazy to think about. With that in mind, Cash has a record of 11 and 11, which is about a 50% winning percentage. Anyway, some of his losses came against Hesigod, Mishi, Bielus, MK, and Matt, just to name a few. His worst game stat was against Hesigod on January 24th of 2022. In that game, 
Cash shot 22% from the field and 14% from three, as he shot 2 for 9 from the field and 1 of 7 from 3. However, Cash still won 11 games with some of his wins coming against Ken Wilder 4 times, Chris White twice, Fly, Big Mac, and Geo Wise, just to name a few. His best game style wise was against Geo Wise on January 13th of 2022. In that game, Cash shot 67% from the field and 100% from 3, as he shot 10 of 15 from the field and had 11 points in a victory. If you want to see the rest of the stats from the other games, it is on the screen right now and feel free to pause the video if you want to see it. Anyways, to conclude this section of the video, Cash has a 2022 record of 11 and 11 so far and when you combine this with his all time record, Cash is now 74 and 31 when it comes to 1v1s. Now let's talk about Cash Nasty's 1v1 stats. In the 22 games that I researched, Cash attempted a total of 337 shots from the field and only made 117 of them which results in a 35 total field goal percentage. From 3, Cash attempted 209 shots and only made 59 of them which results in a 28 3 point field goal percentage. To break this down even more, Cash attempted 108 top of the key 3 pointers in all of his games but only made 49 of them which results in a 27 3 point field goal percentage. Now let's take a look at Cash Nasty's shot chart from 2022. This took me a lot of time once again to make so bear with me. As you see, Cash took a large amount of shots in the top of the key and in the left wing but was pretty inconsistent in those spots. Cash also took a lot of shots in the paint and made about 50% of those shots which is not surprising at all. And last but not least, Cash does not go right at all. I mean he literally only has 2 shots attempted in this side which is kind of surprising considering that Cash is right handed. And that pretty much concludes this video. Now we know how 2022 Cash has performed so far, his handles have improved, his footwork is slowly getting better, but he's not as consistent from the top of the key or the left wing. In conclusion, Cash has been averaging 8 points per game in 2022 so far and has shot 35% from the field and 28% from 3. Hopefully Cash keeps posting these 1v1s as well as fly and keeps getting better. If you're watching, take this as motivation to get better because at the end of the day, this is constructive criticism. I believe in you Cash and keep up the great videos. But what do you think? Well overall, will you give Cash nasty so far in 2022? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more and turn on those notices so you know when I post a new video. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.